I'm on Four Mile Road near the intersection of Kellogg here in Anderson Township and behind me not really any water, but let me tell you just days ago that water was all the way up to about the four foot mark. So you could just imagine what Emmett Leopardi had to go through in order to save a driver trapped in water behind me just days ago. And now he just wants to know if that man is OK. While on duty at Belterra Park, Emmett Leopardi took pictures to check for flooding near the casino. This time, it was an image he would never forget. It's a you know car that appears to be abandoned in the water. Um, you know, maybe we can get down here and do something. He radioed in to his manager, who then told him to stay there to make sure no one was inside. That's when Leah Party saw ahead. He called out, but no one answered. Then he called again. Like, hey, man, are you all right? And that's when he started screaming, saying, "Hey, yeah, help me, please." Without thinking twice, I was able to get in the water, pull him out, um, and sit with him until the first responders arrived. I, I don't know how too far out his car was. It, it, it appeared to be floating. I know that when I got to him, I was about up to my waist. Anderson Township Fire Department said the driver was taken to the hospital with hypothermia. Temperatures on that Valentine's evening stayed below freezing. I didn't really hesitate. I, I was scared, but I knew I had to get him get him out of the water. I can't get a definitive answer of, of whether he pulled through. Um, it's all kind of a blur, but my main concern is that he, he made it through. And we did try to find some information on that man. We called around to some local hospitals to try to check in with his condition, but we were unable to. We're still working on that. But if you do know any information about the man that was rescued from this story, please let us know. We want to let Emmett know uh, that man's condition for tonight. Live in Anderson Township, Raven Richard, WCPO 9 News.